Hi everyone, this is Caesar again with smartblogging.net and on this tutorial I want to show you how to find content using Market Samurai because Market Samurai has a feature for finding content. Okay, so we are going to find content. Okay, so let me think here. Um, let's say uh, SEO. Okay, SEO tips. All right, I'm just making up whatever comes to my mind right now. So, um, okay, English. All countries and territories, we're good with that. Hit create. And right down here on the left in this menu, uh, we have find content. Okay, Market Samurai has this feature uh, built into it where you're, it, it'll search uh, indexed content in Google and then within all these other networks too, not just Google, but you know, Go Articles, Article City, eZines, and all these other places. But well, the cool thing about it is that it finds content based on. Uh, the keyword first of all and then not only that but it also tells you whether or not that particular article has been used more than once on any other site so what you want to do now is click on eZine articles so click on all these um, networks where the uh, the tool uh, market samurai is going to search okay so it's going to search for videos Flickr images and I, I don't think I want to do images or videos uh, if you were really wanted to, you can. Uh, Google News is good. Yahoo News. Yahoo Answers. Subscribe Documents. Okay. Hit Find Content. And then it's going to search these networks for SEO tips um, or articles that have SEO tips keywords within them. Okay. And uh, as you can see here, we have a list of about 77 articles that have SEO tips on them. And then what we do now is hit Analyze All, and it's going to analyze each and every one of these articles. And um, let's wait for it to be done. Okay, so article. I mean, okay, so Market Samurai has uh, created a list here for us of articles um, that have the keyword SEO tips in it. Okay. Um, the very first one, so we can actually prioritize here by, let's say, for example, number of number of times a keyword appears in the body of the article. So we want to we want to for sure use an article that's got the keyword within the content. Okay, so we can do a, a quick uh, you click on that and then it'll display it from from highest to lowest. Okay, and then this means that the word SEO tips is is eighteen it's placed eighteen times within the content. Now that's that's a little high. Okay. Now you also can uh, search for the number of times that the article has been republished online. And when you click on that, it'll, uh, now, <laughs> that's a lot, okay? So now what you want, it, when, especially if you're looking for content for your site, you want to make sure that, you know, the lowest number possible um, so that, you know, you don't get hit with duplicate content. Now some of these have zero, okay? So it hasn't been... It has been republished zero times. Now, this is a good article to consider. Um, some of these may not make any sense, but you have to sort of, uh, you know, filter through them and, and see which ones are appropriate. And, and some of these may not even be uh, quality articles that you may be willing to use. But uh, by looking at, at, by opening up each article, then you'll be able to know whether or not to use it. Or not. Um, so now that's what this means. It's basically the um, the number of times an article has been republished online. This is the page rank of the article. So anything less than two would be good. And then however many backlinks the article has generated. Okay. Uh, let's see. We can display that also. It doesn't look like there's any backlinks on any of these articles. So at this point, what what I would do is kind of look through these. That especially the ones that have zero, um, uh, well, you want to at least have the keyword in there uh, at least one time. So that's how I that's how I do it. So I go through the ones that have the keyword in it at least once or twice, and then make sure that the article hasn't been published anywhere else on the web. And based on that information, I'll be able to know whether or not I want to use it on my site. And uh, you can use it to rewrite the article and and place it on your site if you you're out of ideas. Or you can place it on your site if if it doesn't have any if it hasn't been republished anywhere like this one here for example it says it's got it in there once okay 
but it, it's got zero, it hasn't been published, republished at all. And some of these might, you'd have to open it to see whether or not it's a legit article. So we're just going to click on this one, for example. And let's see, SEO tips for advocacy bloggers. And some of these may not work, some of these might. So you just have to wait for the uh, for Market Samurai to pull it up and see if it's something that you can use. And sometimes this little icon thing comes up and it and it never goes away and it just that just basically means that uh, or the article never comes up so basically that means that it's probably not something that you can use. It just keeps going forever. I put in about five minutes for the article to pop up and it never did pop up so then just turn that off. Um, and then you just kind of browse around. I mean that's all it really takes. You just have to um, look through each and every one of these and see if okay this one for example it's it's got the keyword in there once uh, hasn't been republished no backlinks and it's a uh, go articles okay so you can click on that and here we go we have an article on four SEO tips to improve your search engine rankings okay read through this article see if it works for you if it if it uh, if it makes sense then use it on your blog um, definitely it, I, you won't I, at the at the very least you won't be hit with uh, duplicate content just because it's it hasn't been republished anywhere else you would be the first one to republish this article um, but I highly recommend that you use something like um, uh, the best spinner to to rewrite it and make it unique uh, don't copy it exactly the way it is in go articles I would just uh, bring it to the best spinner and and you know and put it through there so that you're able to uh, make it more unique and and then and then place it on your site okay and that's about it uh, that's how you find content especially when you're out of ideas and you don't know what to write about this is a great way to come up with uh, information articles blog posts uh, maybe even a make a video out of it uh, definitely a way to 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 create content for your blog, especially that you're trying to promote your business now. Okay? Talk to you soon. Thanks. That's about it. And uh, hope this video works out for you. Take care.